Mal and I went to a uh, Chinese food store, like a grocery store, uh, this week, and well, I guess it was just Asian food altogether. And we found, amongst other things, um, mock duck, which uh, fake duck, uh, vegetarian mock duck, they call it. And what piqued my interest was on the can. There's pictures of what I assume is the mock duck, but it has little bumps for where feathers would be if it were real duck. I don't know if that's an important part of eating duck, is the texture or the idea that it was once covered in something else. Um, there doesn't seem to be a lot to it. It's just like fried gluten, salt, soy sauce, stuff like that. But I don't know... Sometimes the simplest things can make something really terrible. And the fact that this has very few ingredients does not mean that it's not going to be the worst thing in the world. Um, it says very specifically ready to serve on the can, and um, I'm not too confident in that. So we're going to warm it up first. But first, we're going to open it with this awesome pink can opener. It smells like uh, deep fryer so far. Oh boy. Oh, will you look at that? There's definitely bumps. It's definitely gray. That's not a jelly in there. It's a uh, a, a liquid. I want to have a sip of it. It looks like to. wet, low pile carpeting. <laughs> it's got an interesting firmness to it. All right. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna heat this up because uh, I might hate myself, but not that much. And uh, we'll be right back with warm mock duck. We warmed it up in the microwave. Um, it hissed and it popped, and I was very worried that it was going to explode. We drained all the goop off because I feel like you shouldn't eat the goop. Um, this there there are little bits of it about you know little mouth-sized pieces. This all seems to be one big mock duck gunk glob, and I'm not excited about it. Um, I feel like I shouldn't like the the out the the, the ones that the, the bits that have fallen off are clearly the weakest parts of the mock duck, and I feel like the the bits that have stayed firm are probably the most mock ducky. Um, surprisingly meaty texture. I I I thought it was just going to be like soybean, and it was just going to fall apart like tofu. Um, but it's got some some definite give to it. There's layers. Not all of it is this weird skin. Um, I'm gonna use my hands here. Like underneath, it's wow. There's actually a skin that's different from the rest of the mock duck. Um, I imagine it's all exactly the same, except for some reason they decided to make the outside look like golf balls. Um, it smells like dog food. It smells exactly like every dog food. Um, and if you've ever eaten dog food, I'm very sorry. But I feel like you and I will share something in common in just a moment. Um, Mal decided to make it pretty with some garnish. Um, which I think really improves the plate overall. Um, and I have my courage right here, which I don't need any of right now because I'm just going... It's way wetter than I thought it was going to be. A lot of moisture in that mock duck. Sometimes people call things juicy when they're good. This is juicy like a pustule is juicy. Mm. I wish we hadn't eaten earlier today. This might actually be the puke episode. Um, obviously, it tastes terrible. It does not taste like duck. Duck tastes good. Duck is good food. Um, it's... Much like a sponge, after all the juices are out, you're left with just this dry, mealy gunk in your mouth. Um, at least I am. And I've yet to try swallowing it. I'm genuinely afraid to. Because it's just turned into one uniformly horrible, grainy experience. It looks good, like, as far as mock duck goes, like it looks like meat on the plate, gray as it may be. But in here, it feels like you're chewing on those dissolvable packing peanuts. But they're not dissolving. It 
It hurts going down, too. It's just a trail of tears right down my throat. Ducky tears. Can ducks cry? I don't care. Um, I appreciate the skin. Um, Wu Chung Company. I think that's an important detail that not a lot of other companies would take the uh, extra effort into doing. Um, I appreciate that it's vegetarian. Um, I think you might hate vegetarians. Wu Chong. I really do. Because no human being should eat this. Um, gonna eat more. Just as bad the second time. I was hoping it might take some of the punch away. If I... Nope, still juicy. Still dripping in my mouth. There's nothing that can make this better. I, 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 I like to think that there's nothing that can't be made better with a sauce, a sriracha, a ketchup, or whatever. This cannot be improved. Because there's nothing to improve upon. Because it's eating... You know how hearts aren't like the basis of feeling? But you can till, still say that someone has a bad heart. Like if someone is a bad person, you can say that they have a rotten heart. Their heart is fine. This is what's inside of them. This is what evil... This is the, the little lump that makes people evil in their bodies. And that's why they're so angry. So if you ever meet someone who's genuinely awful, just feel bad for them because they have this inside of them. Oh, oh! <laughs> You've been chewing it for a minute. You no, know, I put I put more in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> I, I, you know, don't bite off more than you. It is really awful, God. Are you done with some of this? No. Like I've never eaten. Come on, my dog food just before, try a little. But I imagine mm -mm. that that's what that it looks. Like. It does look like Alpo. Katie, I'm good. You don't want to get done some of this mock duck? I can't eat milk, so I'm not gonna eat. <laughs> excuses, to, uh, excuses. I need to steal some of this drink. Have some. I had to, like, a snaggish noodle. Mm, there's vodka in it. Okay. I told you, it's I, I won't drive that much. Is that bad? Oh! It doesn't make it better. Oh! It just makes it different.